RadicalPrep.com. How's it going, everybody? We've got uh, question 10 here from the free PDF practice test. It says, how many days are there in W weeks and D days? And this is one of those classic SAT questions where basically you're just going to plug in some values, see what you get, and check your answers. So, what does that mean? Uh, let's pick a number for W. How many weeks do we want to have? Oh, let's say we're going to have three weeks. And then we're going to have how many days? Let's have two days. And notice how I just picked nice, small, easy numbers. Um, so I said three weeks, and this is days. So what, what do we want to know here? We want to know the total number of days. Okay, so in three weeks, we actually have 21 days, and for two days, we have two days, plus two days, grand total of 23, 23 days. So now, again, our answer choices are not here, or our answer is not here, the choices are there. This answer is not, so we've got to go back and plug in. So W and D, we have 3 and 2. 3 times 2 is not 23. We've got 7 times 3 is 21, plus 2 is 23. This one looks good. I'll just check the other ones real quick. 7 times 3, 21, plus 14, gone. Um, w plus D is 5. We've got 5 sevenths there. And that's going to be 2 plus... Eh, this one's definitely not right. So that's your answer. Choice B. And so again, this was a classic type of problem, but probably the bigger learning lesson from it is anytime you see all these variables in your answer choices and a bunch of variables in your question, it's not a bad idea to pick some numbers. All right, guys, I hope that explanation and the question uh, was helpful. If you have any other questions or concerns, email me or go to my website, RadicalPrep.com.